Hi everyone, here Tommy Walker from Unleashing Your Mindset for Success. And today I want to share something. I did a kind of an experiment this weekend. I put in different groups, around four groups more or less, big groups with a lot of people, what is the number one reason why most entrepreneurs fail and stop along their journey? And I just got tons of messages. I got around 700 messages more or less. And it was very interesting to see what people were replying. A lot of people were saying that it had to do with lack of money, funds. It had to do with lack of marketing. It had to do with um, uh, quitting. It had to do with uh, not having motivation, not having a big why. There were tons and tons of answers. I got around, as I was saying, around six or seven hundred messages from people saying what was the number one reason. And although what I'm going to share right now might not be your case, might not be the people who are maybe around you, but we got to understand that this is, when I talk about the number one reason, I'm talking in general, what most people go through. That's why I say most. I'm not saying this is the only one out there. There's many, and there's many that can kind of fight against this one. But at the end of the day, it has to do with this. And what I'm going to share with you right now, it's going to be it's going to challenge your belief system. Okay. So I want to bear, I want you to bear with me, uh, be open-minded and listen to this, reflect on this and then see what you think about it. But right now, when I'm going to tell you what is the number one reason, I'm pretty sure you're going to start listening voices in your head saying like, no, it's not true. It has to do with something else. And yeah, that's going to happen. And it's okay. It's part of the journey of growing, learning and growing. Okay. So I'm going to put down here afterwards a picture at the end that's going to kind of prove a little bit more the point that I'm putting out there. But look at this. If I'm an entrepreneur and I've been an entrepreneur for now 21 years, I would think I normally put 17 years. That was with the business that I'm doing successfully going for 17 years. But actually, I started different businesses, different ideas, you know, since I was around 19 or 20 years old, I was working for a software company and I thought about developing when the dot coms came out, develop a dot com that was be really big and everything. And I tried different things along the way and many failed. But you know what? I got back on track and kept on trying. Why do entrepreneurs stop trying and go back to the nine to five and think they're not going to be able to do it or things like that? And this is the reason I'm going to share. So whenever we're going down that road, the entrepreneur journey, it's not an easy one. It has its ups and its downs. And now people quit and it has nothing to do with motivation. It doesn't have to do with uh, consistency, with marketing, with money. When I started my business 17 years ago, I started with nearly any money. And I was able to start growing. It grew slowly because I didn't have much money. I didn't have to do advertising and things like that. Okay, back then, right now, I, we invest a lot of money per month in advertising that business to be able to grow it more and more. So the truth is that if people quit, it doesn't have to do with motivation. It doesn't have to do with business plans. It doesn't have to do with money because you can run out of money, go back to a nine to five, save some money and then start over again. But why people stop in their entrepreneurial journey? And it has to do with this. It has to do with fear, people. Fear is stopping everyone down the road. Some of them, they get stuck a little bit and then they just eject and keep going, you know, like they use that as stepping stone. But most of the entrepreneurs out there, as soon as they started hitting fear, as soon as you move, you got the comfort zone. After the comfort zone, you got the fear zone. Then you got the learning zone and then you got the growing zone. As soon as you move out of your comfort zone, your subconscious mind is going to say like, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Go back, go back. And he's going to fight in, with whatever he can to push you back, pull you back, pull you back, pull you back to your comfort zone. And then you're going to blame it on marketing, you're going to blame it on whatever excuse externally, okay, self-doubt, not believing in myself, whatever. But that is the easy route the subconscious mind is using so as not to face the fear. So as soon as you move out of your comfort zone, you got the fear zone. And most people... Nearly anybody talks about this. There's very few people talking about this because it's a taboo. Unfortunately, fear in any area of our life is something that has, we have been taught that is wrong. Fear is something wrong that we got to, um, uh, you know, repress. We cannot be fearful. 
And that's, that comes from my childhood. When we were kids and you were afraid about something, your parents will tell you, no, no, that's not true. Yeah, you don't be afraid. Don't, don't be scared. So you learn to repress it because your parents would scold you, would uh, tell you, make fun of you if you were scared. And it has nothing to do again with that. We need to understand that fear is a normal response. As soon as we get out of our comfort zone, we're going to hit the fear zone. That's how it is. We cannot avoid that. What we can do is start connecting with that fear, understanding where it comes from, why is it there, and what can I learn from it. And that's the learning experience. If I have fear of failing, okay, it is maybe because I had past experiences with our, where I failed, when my parents scold me, when my parents did, me, I did something and I really uh, got yelled at or scold because I did something wrong. So I'm afraid of doing it again wrong and kind of failing. So past experiences. Our subconscious mind is going to project out possibilities out of past experiences and normally trying to protect you. So it's going to imagine that you might fail, that you're not going to make it, that you're going to lose all your money, you're going to lose your time and your money, that whatever is going to bring out into your possibilities because it's trying to protect you. It's not the bad guy, the subconscious mind. The problem is we need to reprogram the subconscious mind so that we can take that leap of faith, that we can move forward. Although we're scared, we can still move forward. We can still take massive actions in our life. So again, whatever is holding you back, mostly in the entrepreneur or any area of your life, it has to do with fear. As soon as you move out of your comfort zone, in any area of your life, you're going to hit the fear zone. And as you walk through the fear zone, you're going to go into the learning zone. But you're not going to go into the learning zone if you don't go through the fear zone. I know people tell me, I'm not fearful. If you don't have any fear, it doesn't mean it's not there. It's just that you're not seeing it. You're not paying attention. But it's there. It's a process inside of our head that we cannot deny. We can try to deny but we cannot deny because it's in there. The problem again, saying that I have fear that I'm scared, people think that that is related to being weak and it has nothing to do with that. Okay, it's a regular process. To walk, I got to put my left or my foot in front of me, left or right foot in front of me, and then I put the other one. Okay, yes, I can go jumping with one foot, but if I want to walk with two feet, I got to put one in front of the other. I cannot just pretend, say like, no, I don't walk with one front or the other. It's like trying to pretend that something is not happening when it's happening. But again, people are so fearful of fear because they were told that fear was wrong, that they get stuck and they quit and they don't keep going because they don't have the correct tools to deal with the fear. So what are the main tools Okay, that I want to share with you today to be able to start connecting with that fear, understanding is self-aware and emotional intelligence. For years in the corporate world, they have taught these tools, self-awareness and emotional intelligence, to be able to connect more with yourself, take better decisions, be more aware, okay, and go through the challenges you face on a daily basis. And entrepreneurs are going to face challenging situations every single day. And it's normal. That's the entrepreneurship journey. If you're not hitting them, it's because you're not growing. If you're not growing, you're not going through learning. You're not going through the fear zone. You're in your comfort zone. So I hope that makes sense. I'm sharing this because I have had too many replies. And not even from out of the 700, let's put 600 people that answered. I think it's a little bit more. 600 people that answered. I had maybe five or six people that said fear is the main reason why most entrepreneurs stop and quit down the road, okay? Normally, people don't talk about it. Why? Because the subconscious mind doesn't like accepting it. So we need to start accepting, connecting with it to be able to go into the learning okay, a zone and then to a growth zone. I hope that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, just send me some love, send me some likes, just write some comments below. I'm here to help and I'm here to bring whatever is going in your subconscious mind to your conscious mind to be able to start dealing with it, okay? So again, thank you very much for listening. I hope this makes sense and helps. If you need anything, just reach out. I'm going to put that image below here so you can see it and you can understand what I mean. If you like these videos, I would really recommend that you subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more videos 
more information how to change your mind and hence how to change your life or your business. So thank you very much. I hope to see you around in the next video. Bye.